The bag has four red balls and two yellow balls. The balls are identical in all respect other than color. A ball is drawn from the bag without looking into a bag. The probability of getting a red ball is option A 1 by 2, option B 2 by 3, option C 1 by 4, option D 1 by 2. The probability is equal to the chance of getting red ball as 4 C 1 and the taking one ball number of chances is 6 4 plus 2 6 C 1. So 4 C 1 is 4 and 6 C 1 is 6. So that is equal to 2 by 3. This is the probability of getting a red ball. So option B 2 by 3 is the right answer. A die is thrown. The probability that the number comes up even is option A 1 by 2, option B 1 by 3, option C 1 by 4, option D 1 by 5. The occurrence is when a die is thrown, you can get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So the even numbers are 2, 4, 6. So probability of getting even number is 1, 2, 4 and 6. N of E is equal to 3. So P of E is equal to N of E by N of S. So that is equal to 3 by 6. That is 1 by 2. So option A 1 by 2 is the right answer. If two coins are tossed together, the chances of getting Head head as option A 1 by 2, option B 1 by 3, option C 1 by 4, option D 1 by 5. If two coins are tossed, the chances are H head head, head tail, tail head, tail tail. This is a chance of getting. So N of S is equal to 4. Then A is chances of getting head head is only 1. So that is N of A is equal to 1. So P of A is equal to N of A by N of S that is 1 by 4. This is the probability of getting head head. So option C 1 by 4 is the right answer. The placing of vertical stroke against the observation is called Option A class mark, option B tally mark, option C frequency mark, option D data mark. The placing of vertical stroke against the observation is called as tally mark. So option B tally mark is the right answer. From the table, the number of students got 60 or more than 60 marks. Option A 15, option B 21, option C 25. Option D 29. Look at the table. The set of 60 and 60 more is this two. That is 15 and 6. So 21 students got 60 or more than 60 marks. So option B 21 is the right answer. The given pie chart gives the marks scored in an examination by a student in English. Hindi, Science and Technology, Social Science and Mathematics. If the total marks obtained by the student were 540, the subject in which the student scored 105 marks is Option A, English, Option B, Mathematics, Option C, Social Science, Option D, Hindi. The marks scored 105 out of 540. Let us keep the subject all in degrees. So this fraction is equal to x by the total degree 360. So when the x is equal to 105 by 540 into 360, so that is equal to 9, 6, then 2, 3, so 3, 5. 35 into 2 is 70 degree. So the degree is 70. 
the subject having 70 degrees is Hindi. So he got 105 marks in Hindi. So option D, Hindi is the right answer. The probability of occurrence of an event is option A, number of trials in which an event occurred by total number of trials minus number of trials in which event occurred. Option B, number of trials in which event occurred by total number of trials. Option C, total number of trials by number of trials in which event occurred. Option D, total number of trials minus number of trials in which event occurred by number of trials in which event occurred. The probability of occurrence of an event is option B, number of trials in which event occurred by the total number of trials. So option B is the right answer.